What we're looking at today, we've got some dumplings of different varieties. We've got three varieties of dumplings, pretty much the same shit, but just done in three different ways. That is, uh, that's been on the floor probably. This one's, it's been, it's fine. It doesn't matter if it's been on the floor because it's been fried. This one is um, from the dishwasher. No, just joking. It's, it's very nice, very nice dumplings. So let's enjoy. But oh, oh yeah, also, the reason why we're here, not because of dumplings, because of this, the Canon C70. Oh, yes. Okay, cool, ready to go. Let me finish the dumplings first. While I polish these off, quick shout out to sponsor of this video, Squarespace, the place to build your own slick looking website. So here we are with the brand new Canon C70. Oh, it looks delicious. Did you think 8K was the next big thing? No, this is the next big thing. It's, it's literally kind of quite big, but quite small when you compare it to the other city carrots from Canon. And that is one of the great things about it. This could be your ideal new vlogging camera. It's all about vlogging these days. And technically you can, look at that. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm, I think I might buy this just for vlogging. Check out that, check out that cat. You know, all you Canon fanboys are gonna say, oh, it's all about the co color science. Check out that color science. This is in BT709. Vlogging with a cine camera, madness. The 1DX Lite, but a bit thicker form factor will open up the world of professional video making to a broader range of users. Yes, including the one-armed bandits. 4K only, but it takes 120p. Not bad, eh? But anyway, let's show you a little bit about the body of this rather tasty cine camera. You've got the tilty flippy screen, as I mentioned. Underneath the tilty flippy screen, you've got all your input levels here choose your mic and then you just adjust it with the little dials there and you've got the battery bpa30 is that the same as on the c300 mark ii same as the c300 mark ii isn't it and on the side here right by the screen you've got air intake yeah just in case you get confused and think that's for putting like your unwanted food or gunge don't block that up with your gunge. It says air intake there. No, don't put it in there. That's going to mess things up. That's so things don't overheat. Exhaust vent. Free holes, free. Holy cannon. And then on here, we've got the inputs. You've got mini XLR, input one, input two, both mini XLR. Then you've got your standard 3.5 millimeter mic input along with your headphones. USB remote, full HMI, obviously. And then your useful buttons on the side here, which you want, because when you're holding the camera like that, I was gonna put it to my eye, you don't have the EVF, so you'd look stupid like that. I guess you can probably buy something to stick on that to use the back screen as an EVF, but that's a tilty flippy screen anyway, so maybe you don't wanna do that. But yeah, it doesn't have an EVF, so you can do that, and you just adjust everything like that. The ND filters six stops up to six stops of nd filter there oh that's cool always super useful to have built-in nd filters and impressive that they managed to find some space in between the sensor and the mount that all happens behind that glass there oh and you can extend it from six stops to ten stops of ndness it is digital though yeah i mean that's pretty much it that's really all you need to know on the back if you're familiar with cannons then I don't know why there's a bit of foodage. There's a bit of foodage here. I don't know whose that is. I'm worried that's not mine. And whether that's uh, COVID free. <laughs> it's still got it's still got a bit of uh, residue there. I feel, I feel bad. Even if that's not mine, I still ooh, shooting all my alcohol. Liquids everywhere. Ah, if there's any place that I can squat, this is the place, right? It doesn't have 8K. You don't need that. It's got 4K, 10 bit, 422. That's the one thing you've got to love about cine cameras. You've just got to love that dynamic range, the, the image. 16 stops dynamic range. You gotta love that. Let's try and see log three. It doesn't have raw. That's, that's a 
Good dynamic range test. The dual gain output means that each pixel reads at two different gain levels, one prioritizing saturation and highlight protection, and the other suppressing noise in the shadows, basically for improved dynamic range and noise control. The way it retains those details, if you swing it either way for the highlights or shadows, so clean, it's impressive. It delivers those 16 plus stops of dynamic range and up to 4K 60p. You don't get extended dynamic range when shooting 4K 120, but the dynamic range is looking great. And for optimal performance, you have to shoot C-Log2 ISO 800. If you want the most dynamic range, that is, but a lot of the times I'll just opt for BT709 because the image looks nice without having to do much to it. It's got enough dynamic range and it's great for work that involves a fast turnaround. Just want to get that lovely beautiful glistening meat color apologies to any vegans out there sorry not sorry as this isn't like one of the mirrorless cameras this doesn't have inbuilt stabilization it's not the r5 this is a cine camera that's fine you know i've just i'm just using the optical stabilization in the lens here obviously it's inside lens. Always love Canon's optical stabilization for video. It almost doesn't matter if there's no in-body stabilization. And the weight of the C70, although 1200 grams, isn't all that heavy. It's enough to make it more stable in your hands. It has the option of digital IS, which works nicely in combination with the lens OIS, although sometimes it does seem to overcompensate. With just OIS, it feels the most natural. The lens IS does a great job, which you can see when you take the OIS off and just use digital IS. The size and weight means it should balance nicely on the gimbal, but the C70 works just as good for handheld shots. Dan Chong, specialist in crispy duck. When you're walking around the streets in London, if you're filming with C300 II, you're probably gonna get stopped and asked for, you know, filming permissions and stuff like that. But because this is, uh, it, looks, it looks just like a DSLR. You probably won't be get, you probably won't be stopped. Now in this kind of form factor, this could be great for a lot of run gun shooters. Startup time, you know, I remember on the C300, I know that's like my reference point. And why not, to be honest? Let's switch that off. Camera off. All right, can of potatoes. How many potatoes is that? Two potatoes and a bit. I'm on the C300, it takes a little bit of time before you can, you know, you have to wait, 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 and then, then you're ready to take a shot. This one's quick. It requires quite a firm press to press down on the record button. Sometimes I think I pressed it, but I haven't. That's, that's probably just me, my weak fingers. Need to up my finger game. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Up my, up my finger game. See, that's, that's not enough. You have to kind of press it down like that. Of course, there's just, uh, there's just one record button. Like on your C300, you've got, uh, you've got one on the grip. You've got one on the front. Is that right? Well, kind of, if you're looking at it from the side. There's just one, but it doesn't really matter. The body's small enough to do with just one record button. There's another, there's another tripod thread that's there. For your, uh, is that for you? Yeah. <laughs> that's quite, that's quite interesting that they've, they've done a little vertical shooting tripod thread there for your uh, very, very nice looking Instagram stories. Deep fry COVID. Bit of a darn tart. Oh, right oh, do you know how long it's been? It's been a while, isn't it? You know, even if I don't get to eat one today, I'm just going to take some video of that and, and masturbate over it when I get home from a, from a culinary point of view, obviously. Oh, look at that, it looks so delicious. Yeah. Well, obviously, obviously I'm, I'm just doing the, the dual pixel test. Focus pull test, obviously, it's not just because I, I missed a bit of darn tight action. Mm, yes, the touchscreen can be used to change focus and it's pretty fan dabby dozy. T2, dumplings in the background. There we are. He's moving, he's moving. He's on the move. It's just one of Canon's top features, dual pixel autofocus. It just works so damn well. It does it all so effortlessly and smoothly. It pulls it into focus as if someone is pulling it for you. 
The Dual Pixel AF works just as well as I remember on the C300 too, but the C70 has the added benefit of face detection, which you get on a lot of cameras these days, but intriguing to see it on the Cine camera. Not that it shouldn't be here, it's a useful feature to have and will surely make transitioning from a mirrorless camera to this a breeze. As are the controls. Sure, the menu system looks different if you're coming from an ESR, and some of the language is a bit more techy. I was looking for the format, card format for ages, but of course they've got as initialize media. Initialize. Do we do we initialize it? Yes, we do. Does anybody say it that way? No, they don't. But you can use the touch screen to change most of the settings you'll need to change when shooting. It's little things like this that help to bridge the gap for anyone think of taking the step from casual video shooter to full-blown video geek. Do you know what? I think I'm gonna get one. I don't care. Let's just finish testing it right now. I'm sold. I was talking about the camera, I wasn't talking about the hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is very interesting because this is the first Cine camera from Canon that uses the RF mount. They're really going for the, the, the whole RF thing right now. And why not? It's the future. The C70 just makes sense. Mirrorless is more or less the standard camera of choice now, and for video, the C70 makes a nice next step up from the mirrorless Canons. The C70 might be considered the entry level into Canon's Cine camera lineup, but it feels anything but entry level. And also because it's RF mount, you've got the adapter to adapt your EF lenses, but then you've got the speed booster. They've out speed boosted the speed booster for Metabones. Metabones, you can make one? Great, no. We're gonna release one in ourselves. The short flange distance certainly opens up the possibility of mounting a whole array of other lenses. These are, these are interesting times for Canon. With the R5, that was quite a, uh, a big splash, wasn't it? And then soon after this, boom, C70. They're really, unleashing all the bees right now. Just in time for Christmas, if you want to buy yourself something nice for Christmas, you might want to get one of these. And why not? It's going to set you back $5,500, $4,800, but seriously, the amount of complaints there are about mirrorless cameras that shoot video these days, whether it be focus issues, overheating issues, ergonomics problems, or video quality inadequacies. If you're really serious about video and you want that mirrorless form, you really can't get much better than this. This is actually a camera that fills a gap that was in dire need of filling. Some might have expected that hole between an EOS R and a C camera would be reserved for an EOS R, but it turns out that it's a C, in name that it is, but it blends a lot of the sensibilities of an RF mount camera. If you're getting serious about your video, the C range would be what you'd consider, but the ergonomics and form usually wouldn't make it ideal for all situations. The C70 delivers everything you'd want in a camera made for video just as easily as a Canon EOS R camera, suiting the one-man band kind of filmmaking that's so prevalent in the modern day. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you want to set up your own domain, online retail space, or website, it's super simple to get started and make your next move with Squarespace. With an easy to use interface filled with loads of templates and backed up with 24 seven customer service, you can try it out with a 14 day free trial and get 10% off your first order with this link and discount code. Whoa, okay. Oh. Dan's, Dan's getting some upskirts with me right now.